Okay. Thank you again. And uh, as I said, this section of the exhibition, we call it the display of the public archive but not as a crude, like the raw materials like we did in the previous room. This one uh, is dedicated on a curated, in, uh, curated statements from the archives, which we have uh, found from our research. Uh, is one of the major findings of this research is that both the lives of women in Ethiopian student movement and the question, women's question in Ethiopian student movement evolved through an engagement, through written engagements. So one of the ways in which this research uh, illuminated uh, how uh, the, the social movements like Ethiopian student movement in the 90s, 50s, 60s, 70s have uh, engaged as a social change uh, is by deliberating or engaging about the lives of women and uh, women's engagement in writing. So this this section entirely tries to show the temporal progressions of uh, engagement with uh, women's life, but also with the questions of women. So there are thematic progressions. Uh, for instance, the, one of the earliest publications we find is in Ethiopian Observer in 1957, April issue, has a special issue on women, which dedicated uh, its discussion on girls' education, on the rights of women, on Ethiopian women in history, on debates on women's emancipation. And especially we have uh, displayed the debate, uh, the debates on emancipation about women because the debate well, took over in, in the university campus in 1957, uh, um, having the motions of like, should women be educated or should not be educated. So that, that was a debate which happened about women's emancipation in university campus, but was covered in the Ethiopian Observer publication. Uh, so this is one of the earliest engagement we find through debates. So you, as you can see, University College of Addis Ababa debates emancipation and the emancipation debate, which has happened at that time was about this themes of like, should women be educated or not educated? So with that motion, those who were debating for educations of women uh, got the highest mark and they received a prize. That's how it's. So the next engagement again we find is within that special issue, there are congratulatory notes that we have received in the 1957 uh, uh, regarding the, uh, the, the revised constitution in 1955 of Ethiopia granted women to vote. And following that, uh, uh, how to say, following that right, uh, uh, we, we received a number of congratulatory or celebratory notes uh, from, uh, from, the, from different sections of the world. We have, for instance, later, which, ca which came from uh, 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 Eleanor Roosevelt, we, we have letters from Egyptian feminists, we have letters from Pakistan, we have letters from India, we have letters from uh, different parts of the world congratulating Ethiopian women for, for now that they can vote, so about their voting rights. So this newspaper, which is Ethiopian Observer in 1957, one of its issues was to publish those letters which came from different sections of the world which congratulate Ethiopian women about them being granted uh, to vote. And the, uh, on one side, those letters congratulate women that they have now the right to vote uh, in Ethiopia, but the, on the other side, they also uh, 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 urge them to use that right properly. So the next section of the exhibition, we have News and News, one of the newspaper, earliest newspapers of student publications, where, you, where we find student publications. And it shows uh, a cartoon image which used to be very dominant during that time. This is 1960, for instance. Uh, kind of mocking female students uh, being about partying, not about education. So it shows the earliest moments of engaging with, with, with women within university college or within campus used to be ridiculing, uh, teasing, mocking. This was the kind of engagement through cartoons and illustrations. And 